there's, there's not many cars that would like blow your mind, but this is like this is a blow your mind car. It's kind of it doesn't make sense of what it is. Check this thing out. Hey guys, what's going on? We are here in Ras Al Khaimah, which is about an hour and a half north of Dubai. We're here this weekend for the final round of the Emirates Drift Championship, but it's in conjunction with a brand new car show called Rock On Wheels, which we're gonna get a sneak peek before the doors open and show you guys some of the cool stuff that's on display here. Cars you wouldn't see anywhere else, and I'm pretty sure there's nobody from the West that's actually ever even been to this show. So we're gonna show you some sneak peeks, some of the cars we like, and check it out. Let's do it. First of all, we're gonna check out some of the classic cars on display here, and these are really rare. As you can see behind me, really, really cool stuff. So let's check some of the cars out, see what they got. Really cool stuff here, but this is drawing my attention. So lads? This is the one. Wait, I want this, one of these. This is your kind of thing, right? And the bike, you, you the bike. I want the bike it out now. Look at this. Little two stroke engine or all like. Like, it's not cool, it's not nice, but it's cool. I thought that was a Mayo Crest as well. I thought it was a Mayo Crest. I thought it was a Mayo Crest there for a minute. We're not meant to be in here. Oh, okay. We're not, we're not supposed to be in here, Mike, are we? We're not supposed to get kicked out. One. Okay, this one's even nicer. But this one steals it. This, um, this is Mayo. Stop. Stop it. Car, car, car. It's your carriage. It is carriage. Carriage show. It's carriage show. Absolutely. Look at this thing. No, it is carriage show. Even the chrome grill is, or the grill is That is amazing. We're really supposed to leave here at this area now, but check this out. 434 GTR, low mileage, gorgeous. 432 GTR, low mileage, amazing condition. And check this thing out. This is the Middle East, ladies and gentlemen. They have some gems tucked away. Wow. Everywhere you look. Quite like the Citroen too. Interesting. So it's like the ultimate Josh car, isn't it? Look at it. Imagine the Josh car. driving around so Josh has a Fiat 500 of Barth, but I think with this one is probably more suitable. So you got like reasonable size. My hand turns. can actually go into it. <laughs> Look at that. That's the biggest turbo I've ever That's seen. That's probably the biggest turbo I've ever seen. <laughs> what are those, Josh? Come on now, hang on. No, 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 I want Josh to explain. Tell me what you think it does. Inlet. Josh explains his back on the inlet. Josh, what's this thing here? A hole? So that's one of the halls. It's about two hours before opening time, so we're getting a little sneak peek. Let's roll out of here and go to the next hall. Josh. <laughs> Josh, 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 let's go check this Wait, out. Wait, Josh, come on, we got a challenge. Look at the smile on Adam O'Connor's face right now. It's like, look at this. I'm never up the road. Oh, no. Here we go. He's loads of grip in the tires as well, huh? Oh, oh. Our friend did Adam O'Connor. Oh. Oh. Teddy wins the race. Like a, got like a spotter. Right, man. Oh, oh, no, no, oh. no, 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 no. So we just checked out one hall here at the Rack on Wheels car show before doors open. Let's go into the second. We hear there's some insane modified machines in here. Let's go check it out. Or 34 GTR uh, V spec. V spec, very cool. <laughs> Absolutely perfect condition. That was possibly the nicest 34 GTR I've ever seen. There's another one coming here, and literally the guy that is running the show said I can drive one, which I don't know if he's messing no, up. No, we're we're not letting you drive it today. Yeah, like, I don't think you should. 34 day. Pro Drift Academy Corvette, which I've actually driven in the past. It's an awesome car. Full drift spec. Oh, what's this? That's um, Mark looking. Is it a Honda? That's a Honda engine. So this is what the normal engine looks like. Yeah, yeah. But we're not experts on Mini's no, bike by any means. Not, but not at all. It doesn't look like that. So I think this could be a Honda engine. It, it, it does look like space a Honda in engine. There. Like, look at that. Like, what? Like that's like. Wow. You know, yeah, that is. Everything is just. Everything's just squeezed in there. I think we might have pre prematurely picked a car to show. Because I 
You, you've picked a car of the show. I, I, I paid, no, I, I, we, found, we found the the, the other cars outside, yeah. but we found two spectacular. That's in five ten, and the team put us that's in sunny. Wow. Okay. Work equips, carbon signal. So carbon, so carbon fiber, custom every, carbon fiber everywhere. Dry carbon, bash, so carbon bash. grills, carbon splitters. I didn't even notice it when I first looked at it, but the arches on the back are unbelievable. Very cool. We have an immaculate 510 beside it, and no one even pays attention to it because you have this. A bit of you, Dan? That'd be a bit of me. That would be a bit of you. It's very Terminator. It does look very Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, I think it's lovely. Check those wheels. This is a Ford Bronco, I think. Ford Bronco? Now this is one of our favorite cars. We spotted this yesterday. There's an AMG Mercedes, but it's not like any other AMG Mercedes we've ever seen before. Check this thing out. The detail is ridiculous. Blacked out everything, airbag, suspension, upgraded everything. So they have two cars here today. One is this beautiful, Estate AMG. The second is a 350Z with a full rocket bunny kit, and the paintwork is incredible on this thing. Look at this thing, though. Look at this Challenger. Wow. On the floor, crazy wrap, airbag suspension. Wheels are insane. Look at that. Some awesome, awesome cars here. Ford Mustang. This one is a little bit over the top, but. Uh, Full white arch kit, Lambo doors, interesting. Studio 86 is actually gorgeous, this one. Again, white arch kit, nice interior, very drift spec. I like this one. Let's get a good look at this thing. Again, Lambo doors seem to be quite the thing. Really nice Corvette here. I like the color scheme on this car a lot. The white, black and gray. All carbon fiber extras, really nice white arch kit on the back. And a very, very cool design. The spoiler is pretty insane. If you're not sure what this is, this is a Venturi, if I'm not mistaken. Very rare car. And this one, well, we looked at this yesterday and said, sometimes you just don't always get it right because we are not entirely sure what's going on here at the front. Looks like it has a truck axle. So it's like, I don't know what's going on there. But these rear arches, this is pretty crazy. Am I right in saying this car runs four rear wheels? It's that wide, it runs four rear wheels. So you see two, I don't know if you can see under there. You don't need to get really wide deep dish wheels. You just run four at the back. It makes perfect sense, right? Really nice Ford Mustang. Another gone in 60 seconds car. So that's two in this show. What we got, Keen? Look at 420 brake horsepower in shock. They're loaded in. That is insane. Your dream car, Mike? I'm not going like, like I'm actually speaking to her. This is beautiful. This is the car we saw yesterday. Yeah. There's, there's not many cars that would like blow your mind, but this is like. This is a blow your mind car. It's kind of, it doesn't make sense of what it is. Check this thing out. Right, so. I don't even. I don't even know what to describe it as. It's obviously a GTR. It's wide arched, all that stuff. Wide arched. It's, but it's built by crazy. This is, this is hand done, right? Yeah. All Look full metal, it. but then they've chiseled it out or like marked and dented in. It was built for Tokyo Motors alone. This thing is just wild. So this is sort of, you're just. Like everything is like, yeah, like little dints and bumps and it's just like. It's like a tattoo. Yeah. But a very big tattoo. Yeah. That is insane. It's everywhere. Every single time. That is just not normal. Do you know what else we spotted yesterday, Adam? Which I really liked. Is the bonnet of this car. Oh, you think this is great here? Cool. You kind of look at this. Look at that. Over there, over this one. That's crazy. I don't even know how to do that. They all have this bonnet. Look at it. You know what, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm gonna go home and try and do it. I won't promise you he's good, but it's absolutely mental. In the red, it really pops, doesn't it? How do they do that? You, you get a grinder, an and you, just, grinder you, just you like basically sand it into it, and then you just paint it and lacquer it. Paint and lacquer and oh, where you go. Middle East. Why do you want to get destroyed? But hey, that's pretty look cool. Look at the skirts, that, that's so cool, that is. That is very cool. Isn't it? That's done the same way as the GTR. Yeah, it's yeah, like handcrafted. Here. Oh yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. It's down to the metal. In the sanding mix, it's down to metal. 
Yeah, yeah. So they yeah. offer left hand drive conversions as well. Oh, let me see. They offer left hand drive conversions. That's because they can't have right hand drive conversions. Is it legal over here? So yeah. just change it. Right hand drive cars are illegal, so they can convert your GTO. Is this a car on, up on barrels? Yeah, no, have, no. This, I was actually just got about it. This is a <coughs> this is a dedication to low car. Have a, have a look what they've done oh. to make everything. Sh Underneath the chassis. Oh, we're gonna have to actually crawl down on the ground. Actually, oh. crawl down. Oh my god. They've notched the chassis to put the exhaust and everything through. Hello, Mike. It's under a car again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Come to a car show, still end up under a car. That's like, wow. Gorgeous. This is the strangest colour combo that works so yeah, well. I love it. It's a caramel. Caramel. I love it. So it's a bit caramel. So, full Liberty Walk GTR. That's just slick, that is like. Yeah, like the Japanese, like not the standard door handles Shit. that it comes with. <laughs> they have edited that bit out, yeah. They all yeah. have them. I'm just. Literally. Every they all have those doors. Okay. So, what do you guys think at home? These type of spoilers, are they good or bad? They look cool. Do they? I think they do. I think I'd prefer a more conventional spoiler, but maybe. Maybe I could be convinced. This is the Mustang Shelby. Shelby. That's the better one. Lads. Okay, so we found what I think is one of the nicest cars. Ever seen in my life? Right here? Just that. The veil. Okay. A low rider. Crazy looking thing. But this is what Keen is referring to. What is happening here? Cadillac. That thing is insane. Three, um, inch, three inch roof top with all original glass. Wow. That's a beautiful car. Beautiful car. Just incredible. Paintwork on this car is just exceptional. We are seeing some pretty insane cars here. I'm absolutely loving it. It's such a random variety of noises and styles. That's the great thing about the Middle East. It just has a really varied car culture that you never quite know what you're gonna see next. So we'll take another couple of steps left or right. Get a completely different set of cars. Well, definitely not going to be missed in this thing. It's huge. I think these are called a special edition of some sort here. A raised lift kit. You guys can let me know in the comments. What is happening right here? That is the most ridiculous turbo thing I've ever seen on a car. All custom. Oh, that's very good. That is. When's well, thousand seven hundred? 1,700 horsepower? Yeah. And what would you put this in? A car? <laughs> or or a, G, a truck? For the truck. For the patrol? Yeah, but... Ba, 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 Did you see the turbo on this? Oh. oh Jesus. God. That oh, that's the one I want about the gold wrap. That's oh, what I like. I Everyone's doing this kind of... This making this kit from 2,500. Really? 2,500. Yeah. Oh, Say that again? 2,500 horsepower? Yeah. What? This is a road car? Huh? A road car? No, I was gonna say. Drag racing. It's a drag car, Josh. That is incredible work. You guys, nice work. Very nice work. Like, this is Look beautiful. Yeah. Look at the weather. It's so sexy, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. It's sex. It's like sex. It's just some random guy just said that to me. No, at least. Is it like sex, Josh? It's, it's better. better. It's, it's better. better. It's better. Hopefully, your missus doesn't see this vlog. Jesus. <laughs> Hey, like, I don't know welds very well, but no. here, shiny magpies, you'll love this now. You just put foil on it, so. Just put foil on, the, foil on the, the bottom. Here, like, I'm not gonna paint my engine, mate. I'm gonna do this. Just put foil everywhere. That's gonna You're convinced? Good. Yeah. Run two and a half thousand horsepower in the MX-5? No, just the shiny stuff. What is going on? So there you have it guys, a sneak peek at the Rock on Wheels show, which we're a part of this weekend with round three in the finale of the Emirates Drift Championship. We've just finished setting up the track and in a later episode of the vlog, we're gonna show you all the action from the finale of the UAE's only professional drift competition. Until the next time, we'll see you soon. So guys, remember, hit that subscribe button so we can keep making videos like this. We want to know what car you preferred from the show. What was your favorite car? We have our own favorites. Write in the comments below what you think is your favorite. Give us a like, give us a share if you can. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time on Drift Games Vlog.